Greetings and salutations my dearest friends, my name is Samantha and today I'm going to be doing a reading vlog where I read some sapphic Christmas romances. Hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're reading some Christmas romances because tis the season. So this reading vlog is going to be me reading a bunch of sapphic romances that are Christmas themed and that's about it. I'm going to take you guys along with me throughout the week and foremost. Let's talk about the shirt. Let's talk about the shirt. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? It is glorious. Guys, it's a historical romance shirt, but like make it sapphic. It's two girls and it's so gorgeous. My lovely friend Desiree from Genki Reader gifted me this shirt. I believe she got it from a website called Fugly Barbie which I will leave down below because everybody needs this shirt and I have been waiting for its moment to wear this in a video and it is time. Okay so the first one I already started. I am on page, what page am I on? 202 and it is written in the stars by Alexandra Belfleur. This is a sapphic Christmas romance that is a Pride and Prejudice retelling. So it's an enemies to lovers romance. In this book it's an enemies to lovers romance. Our heroines end up getting set on a blind date and it's an absolute absolute disaster. It does not go well. It's horrible. In this book, one of our heroines, her name is Darcy, she has been set up on a bunch of random blind dates by her brother and she's kind of like tired of it so she ends up lying and saying that the date went really well and somehow it turns into a fake dating situation where they pretend to date each other to like appease their family. The holiday season, they don't want to go to like all of these events alone and single so they end up forming this fake dating relationship and it forms into a romance. It's super cute so far. Like I said, I'm on page 200. Another book that really prompted me to do this video was Her Night with Santa by Adriana Herrera. This is a sapphic Santa romance. Santa is a girl in this book and that is just like everything to me. This video is going to be about. I hope you guys enjoy it and I will update you guys when I have some more reading updates. I look a mess. I really do friends and I'm not gonna apologize for it. <laughs> oh gosh. So I wasn't planning on filming this reading vlog but here we are. I did not feel well today. I'm having a really awful flare-up of endometriosis. Yesterday was awful but I was off so it was fine but then I was supposed to go to work today and uh, clearly I did not go to work. I had to call off because it was just way too much. Like we went to Target uh, to get a gift card for someone and just walking in Target for that five minutes my body was in so much pain. So I was like no there's no way that I'm gonna work an eight hour shift. Really my boss was super understanding but I'm kind of upset that I had to call off because I hate calling off. I hate it so freaking much. But whatever. Um, my point of saying all of that is that I wasn't really like feeling Christmas novellas recently or Christmas novels. I don't know. I just haven't been in the Christmas vibe yet. But today I was in the mood for some Christmas romances since I'm going to be home, you know, laying in bed. So I decided that I'm going to film a Christmas reading vlog. That's my long story short. I already read one book and I think I'm going to make this a sapphic romance theme. You guys would ha have already known that by the intro. Um, but a lot of the Christmas romances I was looking on Kindle were all sapphic. So I'm like, you know what, let's make it a theme. So the one that I just read was by Adriana Herrera and it's Her Night with Santa. Babes, babes. This is probably the most steamiest book I've ever read. So if you're not into steam, this is just not for you. It is so good. Okay, I gave it four stars. It's a novella and it follows a female Santa. So our heroine is Kris Kringle's daughter and she inherits the title of Santa and she's one of the first female Santas in like thousands of years. So she's feeling a lot of pressure. She, every year after Christmas she goes to her beach house in the Dominican Republic and just relaxes. She likes to spend like a week alone just to recharge but this year when she goes to her beach house she finds an unexpected guest in her 
bedroom. Other heroine is the niece of one of the toy runners. So in Caribbean culture, there's something called the Three Kingsmen that a lot of Caribbean cultures celebrate, Dominicans, Cubans, Puerto Ricans, the whole thing. He is a toy runner as well, and he knows the previous Santa Claus. He asks if his niece can stay at the villa because she cannot go on her plane because of a snowstorm. The other heroine is in Santo Domingo for a work trip. She makes sex toys, you know? Like I said, this is real spicy. Anyways, she is just launching her new business and she's in there to find funders for her business and she's doing like this huge presentation and she's supposed to hop on a plane to go join her family at like these snowy alpines. But because of a snowstorm, she can't fly out and she is stuck in the Dominican Republic and needs a place to stay, which is how she ends up at this villa. And they meet. It's a steamy time. It's really fun. Honestly, the book opened super steamy. Santa, her name is Christina. She ends up walking into her bedroom and seeing our heroine testing out some of the toys that she makes. It's really steamy, honestly, and it was such a good, fun time. I loved it. It was four stars. Uh, some things that I liked, number one, it's set in the Dominican Republic. My dad's Dominican, and you just don't see that often in romance novels, so I really love that this was set in the DR, our beautiful island. And then, secondly, I loved that it was a sapphic romance that was actually steamy. I feel like, okay, I know there are a ton of sapphic romances out there, but a lot of them tend to be more on, like, the cutesy side. Um, and when it comes to, like, a steamy novella, I want the steamy times as well. The reason I gave this a four star and not a five star is because yes it was a novella and I'm a fan of novellas. I like really quick short novels but the reason I like novellas is because I like when our author is able to give us all of the warm fuzzy feels just condensed in like one little novella and I don't like to leave anything unfinished and although there was heavily ever after in this book I just felt like Maybe because I loved our character so much that I felt like I wanted a full length novel. I wanted to know more about like, like a female Santa, like how cool is that? Like I really wanted to know more about her family. I wanted to know about their happily ever after. They fell for each other like so freaking quick, like so quick. Like they were already making plans to like live together after they slept with each other one time. Like it was very fast and I just felt like this would have been a beautiful full length novel. So four stars but I did really really love it I have to say and it's funny that this popped up on my kindle I had seen it but I don't I don't know if I had like read the synopsis um but yesterday I had watched Noelle with the kids it's a book on no not a book I'm sorry it's a movie on Disney plus and it's a really cute kids movie um where it has a female Santa Anna Kendrick the actress in that movie is a female Santa and she's the daughter of Kris Kringle and her brother is supposed to take over uh but he's not a really good Santa Claus so she actually ends up taking over and it's really cute and fun and I really liked watching it and then I saw this novella um so it's cool to see our female Santas representing okay those are my updates I love you guys I will update you guys later I'm gonna go take a hot bath and hopefully you know this flare-up goes away because it is not a good time right now <laughs> anyways um I'll talk to you guys later bye I put on makeup to film and I have regrets about it okay I just want to I just want to stay here mm-hmm cuddled uh my back hurts so freaking bad. Okay, no, no, no. I We're going to do this thing. We're going to give you guys an update, okay? All right, let's update. I finished a book, and I'm not happy about it. So, uh, I hate giving books low ratings. I truly do. Like, I'm not one of those people who, like, trashed books for, like, views. I saw this on Kindle Limited. It's called Made for Each Other by Jenny Bloom. It's a Christmas sapphic romance, and it just looked so promising so promising like the cover is adorable it only had 34 ratings and eight reviews on goodreads and that really should have been my my trigger like it should have been the thing that made me realize like oh maybe it's not a good book if no one's reading it but i was like convinced like i was gonna find a hidden gem and like that nobody had ever read or talked about and i was gonna be the one to show you unfortunately that is just not the case babe i ended up giving this two stars and I'm quite disappointed. So this book follows Judy and Lucy. It's an age gap romance. Judy is 42 and Lucy is 25. For me, I don't really feel like that's much of an age gap. I know you might disagree with me, but I love age gap romances. And I feel like by the time we're 25, you are a full-fledged adult. 
you are a full-fledged adult who can make your own decisions and that just doesn't seem very taboo to me but whatever the reason i went on that rant will make sense in a second so judy lives in this really big house all of her kids are married and grown and she lives with her maid lucy who's 25 and they're kind of like best friends but lucy also works for her and they have never really taken the relationship to the next level lucy the younger girl ends up walking in on judy when she's hooking up with one of her friends and realizes that she is bisexual she never knew that her boss was bisexual so she didn't want to make a move on her and make her uncomfortable anyways so they end up kind of like starting a relationship with one another and the reason i didn't like this was I don't know if this is the author's first book that she's ever written, but it felt very debut novel to me. And in the sense that the chapters were just spaced weirdly, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know in what time frame this was. I don't really know, like, did this take place during a day? Did this place take place during a week? It was just written very weirdly. There was also a ton of typos. I'm not someone who's the grammar police. I'm truly not. But like if you're gonna spell something wrong and like publish a book, I don't know. And it would, if I know what you're trying to say, then I'm not gonna get irritated. But it was just a little too many errors that I just didn't feel like. This was proofread. It almost felt like this was a draft that was just published, if that makes sense. So those were some of the reasons I didn't like it. God, I hate, I feel like I'm being so harsh right now and I'm so sorry because I really wanted this book to just be filled with like Christmas goodness, but I gotta keep it real with you guys. And then also our heroine, the older heroine, there was a point in this book that I literally was gonna stop reading because our heroine basically said that she didn't want anyone to know she was having this relationship with this younger woman and she basically like convinced the younger woman to still pretend to be her maid and not tell their families that they're together because she didn't want her kids to be disappointed in her or ashamed of her and i'm like if you're that embarrassed to tell your own family who you're dating like to me that's a problem because it didn't seem that her family was at all any types of judgmental and they knew that her mom was openly bisexual like it says it in the book so it's not even like it would have been a shock that she's dating another woman and she's just scared of coming out like there was no reason for her to keep this poor young woman like as a taboo secret you know what i mean and she made up all of these strange rules like they couldn't fall in this asleep in the same bed with one another that she always had to go back to her room after they were having sexy time and i'm like that's just so rude the way she treated her was honestly kind of degrading and she acted like the child in the situation like the entire book she kept reminding them of the age gap yet she was the one acting like a child literally acting like a child and then like in the middle of them like hooking up literally in the middle of it she goes you're the same age as my daughter and i'm like that's weird ma'am why are we thinking about that during this time okay that's weird it was just a really weird book and i gave it two stars uh i'm trying to think of something nice to say about it i don't have anything in me i'm sorry i just need a long charger i don't have it your brother took it Sophia, what do you want? He, uh, he put it here. I don't have a charger. I don't this have the plug. Is, Where's, the plug? Where's the plug? Tell Where's the plug? Where's the plug? Where's the plug? Tell your Where's brother. the plug? I don't, right there. No. <laughs> I was arguing with her about the charger not being in here and it's right on my bed. You want to say hi to the people? Sure. Hello, people. Hi, Sophia. Hi. The other day, uh, Sophia, I was, like, testing them, like, how well do you know your sister? And I was like, Sophia, what types of books do I read? Romance. It's to be exact, historical romance. Yeah, they knew. I, was I so listen to you on your videos. No, don't watch my videos. <laughs> no, I don't watch your videos. I listen to you on your Oh, when I film sometimes. I don't let her watch my videos, guys. Don't come for me, okay? <laughs> Tell her in the comments that she needs to let me watch her videos. Maybe when you're older, Mela. Okay, goodbye. How? Okay, Never. Goodbye, people. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> Pretend I never read that.
All right, what are we reading right now? What am I reading right now? The next one that I'm reading is called It's a Date by Claire Stevenson. This is another one available on Kindle Unlimited. So far, all the books I've read uh, have been on Kindle Unlimited if you want to check them out. This is a friends to lovers romance and our heroines are teachers. They work together. They've been friends for a really long time. They're both kind of going through a dry spell. Like one of our heroines just recently went through a divorce and our other heroine is like the director of their school and hasn't been on a date in a really long time. I know it's really noisy in the background. The kids are running around. We're just going to annoy that, ignore that. So they kind of decide that they're going to go out clubbing and spend, you know, some Christmas time together. And I think they end up falling for each other. Well, I know they end up falling for each other. It's a friend's lover's romance. I literally just started it and it's good so far. So hopefully this one is a good one. greetings I look a little crazy I just got off of work I look crazy but I realized I never showed you guys the books that I got from Barnes and Noble I just like filmed and then never came home and showed you so I didn't get a ton of books I just got two I really only went to get a copy of Laura Olympus how gorgeous is this copy it is so freaking pretty the art is stunning truly I know this was a webtoon but I never read the webtoon but I was I've always like wanted it in like a physical form I've been waiting for the book to come out so I can read it and enjoy the art so I'm really happy this is the Hades and Persephone retelling and like I said it's a really popular webtoon and then the cream of the crop when I walked into the store they had this whole display of classic books and I saw this gorgeous copy of Phantom of the Opera Dun, dun, dun. If you guys know anything about me, you know I love musicals and I particularly love Phantom of the Opera. It was the first musical I saw on Broadway, obsessed over the movie, loved Gerard Butler. Me and my sister would always watch the musical together and it's just so near and dear to my heart and I have like four copies of it already but I needed another one because this is gorgeous. And it has like other stories as well from like Edgar Allan Poe and Mary Shelley but really... The cream of the crop is the Phantom of the Opera. And I'm not going to take it out of the plastic wrapping because it's just like a collector's piece. Maybe I will read it, but right now I'm just going to enjoy the beauty. Okay? Okay. And this just came in the mail. This is Infamous by Minerva Spencer. The publishing company was so kind to send me this ARC copy. I don't get a lot of ARCs to be completely honest. I just know I'm a small, regular, regular channel. And it was really exciting to get like a historical romance ARC. I don't know I'm really excited to read this and it's funny because I saw this book in Barnes and Noble and I was like oh that kind of looks cute I like the green and then they sent it to me how fun that's like the smallest book haul ever just two books from Barnes and Noble and then one that I got sent to me and yeah I'm gonna go take off my makeup and lay down although I desperately want to take like a bubble bath because today was so long at work but something's going on with our water it's like contaminated and it's literally brown and like purplish a little sus a little suspect so I can't really take a bath right now and I just feel gross y'all didn't need to know that but anyways all right I'll update you guys later bye hello hi um I look a mess but whatever we're gonna ignore that I got a package in the mail and I wanted to unbox it um hopefully you can't see my address nope you can't it says Christmas delivery to Samantha Desiree sent this to me my bestie I'm so excited open it I haven't even looked inside let's see it's like a del okay there's a note let's see what she has to say also i broke my nail while doing this i don't know if you can see this one is broken um because i didn't have scissors and i thought that i could just like rip the package open like a beast 
Um, I got it open, but I broke it out, so that sucks. Oh my god, she got the kids something. That is so freaking sweet. My friend got us a Christmas gift. You want to open it with me? Sure. Uh, do you want to be on camera? Uh, I was going to be here. He's just kind of shy, too. He's not going to be on camera. Why? My brother's going to open it with us, but he doesn't like to be on camera, so he'll be on the side. Sophia, come here. Oh. What? My friend got me a Christmas gift. You want to open it with us? Sure. Yeah, here. She said that she got you guys stuff too. Little oh, candies. Really? Mm -hmm. really? <gasps> it's a little troll. It's so it's cute. cute. A little Santa Claus. Oh, there's a hot cocoa bomb. I love these. You love those? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, this is a hot chocolate cocoa bomb. There's chocolate oh, spoon. That's what cool. Are those? So, okay, so when we use the hot chocolate cocoa bomb, we can use a chocolate spoon to stir it and then we eat the spoon. Ooh. It's candy candy. Candy, candy candy cane. Candy cane. Candy cane. Those are yours? Yeah, just yeah. Okay, the like candy canes this. can be yours. Okay. These are the candy cane spoons. But is it that's cute. That's cute. It's, cute. it's a little cup and it's it has hot cocoa in it. So we could put the Ooh. chocolate bomb in here. Ooh. Yeah. I think yeah, that was what Ooh. she wanted. What is this? Oh, this is just a bunch of hot chocolate to put in there. We'll yeah, make, well. Maybe okay. we'll make hot chocolate tonight. <gasps> we should. Yeah. yeah. We should. There's a candy. Oh my god, there's a sleigh. Oh my god, that is so cute. And then there's mini candy. Oh, there's a stick. Oh, these are, you can have one of these, Macho. So sweet, we're gonna make some hot chocolate tonight and watch a Christmas movie. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Since I'm here, I might as well give you guys some bookish updates. So I finished It's a Date, and it was really, really cute. This was honestly so like such a wholesome, cute Christmas romance. I do recommend it if you like sweet friends to lovers romances. So this follows our two heroines. They're both teachers, and they've been friends for years, but they've always just been friends. They've never really taken their relationship to the next level because they don't want to ruin their friendship. They are both going through quite a dry spell, so they end up going on this dating app to find like someone to go out with but they have a bunch of like disastrous dates they're trying to find someone before Christmas but like I said all of their dates are disastrous and they honestly just enjoy spending time with each other more than anything and it's like one of those moments where everyone around them can tell that they're perfect together so their students a group of high school students ends up playing matchmaker to get their two teachers together it's adorable to see them like play matchmaker because like I don't know it was really cute and I really did like our couple this is a pretty soft sweet romance there's essentially no steam like none whatsoever it's also hilarious I'm gonna give it a three star maybe a four star the only reason I'm giving it a low rating is because like I said in the beginning there was like a lot of typos and the chapters were space weird I don't know if that's because this is like one of her first novels or what but I just didn't enjoy uh, the writing we finished three books so far which is actually pretty freaking good considering I wasn't even gonna read this week because I wasn't feeling well I feel like we're doing a good job last night I started another sapphic Christmas romance and it is written in the stars by Alexandria Belfler I'm only on page 70 yeah page 70 honestly I have the cutest little bookmark let me show you my friend Sarah got me this bookmark and it is so freaking cute. It's a book with like a heart on it and it just clips onto the page. It's so cute. I read a physical book in so long. I've been reading so many ebooks, so I'm excited to read this one and I will update you guys when I'm done. We're just going to continue this reading vlog because there's like two more books I still want to read. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you Desiree again for sending me and the kiddos that Christmas present. That was so sweet. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having a good day. Ugh. I feel like I'm out of breath right now. I'm still not feeling well, but today was actually good because I got the Christmas Greetings, present. greetings, greetings. It has been a second since I updated you guys on this reading vlog. This reading vlog was literally supposed to be like a day, but I just kept reading a bunch of romances and then I got a really bad endometrius flare up. And right during that flare up, I caught a cold where I was super sick. I ended up calling off at work and it was a lot it was also thanksgiving um <clears throat> on thanksgiving they literally turned our power off which was crazy um because of like high winds and stuff they turned our power off because of a fire hazard so that was a little bit of a hot mess express but thankfully we weren't hosting thanksgiving so we still went to my family's house and had a thanksgiving dinner but just like a lot has happened is kind of what i'm getting to in this book i have read one two three four 
six books I believe uh, two of them I'm literally like just finishing right now so I will give you like a little brief synopsis the first one is written in the stars by Alexandra Belfler I've talked about this um, already in the video and I really love it it's just so cute and even though it is a Christmas book I feel like you can read it anytime uh, because it really is just so well written I love how it kind of has the astrology aspect to it just did a live show for our historical Hellion book club and I was talking about how I was reading this book and I was just like finishing the last few chapters after that live show and I'm gonna give this book four stars. I adored our characters so much. Of the fake dating trope I feel like a lot of times you see fake dating in like historical romances and not so much in contemporary romances that actually make sense unless it's like a mafia romance because like in a real life scenario like how often do you see fake dating happen you know what I mean so it was kind of fun to see it in a contemporary romance and it done so freaking well in this book she's one of my favorite heroines she's quirky she's unapologetically herself and in this book she um, goes through like a lot of struggles like finding herself and like trying to prove that what she is doing is like worthy enough for her family and I don't know I, I, I definitely resonated in a lot of ways with our heroine and I really adored reading her romance the only reason I'm giving it a four stars is because I kind of felt like there was really nothing stopping our characters from being together there was no like logical reason why they couldn't be together and kind of like drop the pretenses of them fake dating and I just felt like they could have been better at communicating with one another I still give it a four stars I love it I adore it I highly recommend it I think it's such a good book the other one that I read was on Kindle Unlimited and this one I haven't finished yet so I'm not going to give a rating but I just wanted to kind of mention it in case you guys want to pick it up so this one is called Christmas Cupid uh, again, it's on Kindle Unlimited. So our heroine is an event planner, I think, and she hates Christmas. She's definitely like the Grinch. Every Christmas, she goes to somewhere tropical because she hates the cold weather. She hates the holidays, uh, and she always goes on vacation, so she doesn't have to plan Christmas parties. Well, her boss ends up forcing her to go to do this article on this, like, very small town. Other heroine owns this bakery and she's known as the Christmas Cupid. So this bakery is in this small town and it's only open during the holidays like four months out of the year and it's supposedly magical that everyone who comes in and like eats the cookies always finds love in this bakery. And obviously our other heroine who is super skeptical about Christmas thinks like it's a total hoax. She doesn't believe in it but then she goes to the small town and kind of falls for our heroine and also falls for like the Christmas magic. So I haven't finished it. It is pretty sweet and cute and a good one to check out on Kindle Limited. Because I have taken so long to finish this book, I don't remember if I talked about Mangoes and Mistletoes. That is another book that I read in this uh, vlog and it features our heroines who, it's kind of like a British bake show type of show. Heroines go on the show to compete at a bake show in Scotland and it's Christmas themed and they end up getting partnered together. They're both Dominican and it follows the romance and this is by Adriana Herrera. I gave it five stars. It is so freaking lovely and wonderful. I think this is like one of my favorite Christmas romances that I've read. The chemistry between our characters was so sweet. I also am a huge fan of the British Bake Show so I loved the baking aspect in it. I loved like seeing the Dominican culture represented and some of the Dominican foods kind of put into this book was just so lovely to read about and honestly I can't recommend it enough so that one was great. I was to recommend any book in this video it would definitely be this one mangoes and mistletoes it was flawless fantastic wonderful now i want to read everything that adriana herrera writes all right and lastly i'm going to do a quick overview of all of the other books i read so the first book i read was her night with santa by adriana herrera it was a book where our heroine was a female santa and it was a fun wild time i gave it four stars I also read made for each other by jenny bloom and i unfortunately did not like that book and that is the only book in this video i didn't like the only one i don't recommend and the other one that I read is called it's a date that one's on Kindle Unlimited and this was a really sweet French lovers romance I'm gonna give it like a 3.5 4 star as well so pretty good luck in this video we read six sapphic romances and I have enjoyed pretty much all of them except one so hopefully this give you guys some recommendations for the Christmas season um that's it 
I know this video is kind of a hot mess express, but that's because I'm a hot mess express and I have a lot of videos to pre-film for Vlogmas and I just don't want to. A lot of videos to edit. So I'm going to leave you guys here. As always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. It means the world to me. I hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy and I will see you in tomorrow's Vlogmas video.